Hey guys, I'm Ray Ray and welcome back to more of the Adventure Sim Challenge. And if you don't know how this challenge goes, it goes a little something like this. This is my Adventure Sim, her name is Lucas Lunhair, and the goal of the challenge is to unlock every single island here in Isla Paradiso, fully explore every single tomb in each of the three locations that came with World Adventures, and collect one of every single type of collectible item in the game. Now I have every single expansion pack and stuff pack, so that's a huge undertaking to go under. Now, Last episode, we invested here in this tiny little grocery store and we were going to continue our diving and exploring because that was what was giving us our revenue right now because we we're starting off super, super broke. But I did a little bit of investigation on my own because I'm not exactly sure what it took to unlock every single island. I didn't read that beforehand. I had just decided that that's what I was going to do and I'm, that's still my goal. But I did discover that to unlock one of the islands, I actually have to be a lifeguard. So we're going to switch course just a little bit. Now, I made her a collector by trade, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see her career. Yes, she is a collector by trade. So we're actually going to abandon this career. So I'm actually happy we, happy we didn't uh, make a lot of progress. And we're going to go become a lifeguard, at least until we unlock that island. Now, I've never been a lifeguard. So once again, this challenge is already making me explore stuff that I never have in the past. So we're going to do that this episode. And we're still going to continue to dive and explore. I want to go explore that cave that we talked about last episode. But first things first, let's... Uh, oops, I think you have to come over here to be a lifeguard. I kind of zoomed in there and I didn't mean to. Yep, join the lifeguard profession. So we're going to go do that. And we're going to start off this episode by exploring this career. But we're still going to continue to do all the other little things that we've been working on. So she's going to ride her bicycle over there to the city hall. And then um, I don't think she's going to start working today. Or at least I hope she doesn't. I don't know how this actually works in your lifeguard. I don't know if she just sets her own hours or not, but if she doesn't have to work, we're going to go back to that dive lot because I do still want to go, I want to go in that cave of wonders down there. Wonders or horrors, one of the two. I also don't know what we would do if she died, like she's my only sim. So like if she dies a premature death because of something crazy we did while adventuring, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna what what's gonna happen. We do we respin her? Do we give ourselves a mulligan and like retry from a previous save? Like, I don't know. I didn't I didn't make that decision. And I guess if she dies, we'll make that decision later. It probably depends on how far I've come in the challenge. I mean, I don't want to like quit or give up early on because she died. Or I could just reroll a different sim. But then we'd have to start from scratch. All right. So CPR dummy. Need a job that will make you look and feel like a hero? If rescuing drowning sims and applying CPR to sims that are in need sim seems appealing, then look no further. The lifeguard career is for sims that are looking for out for safety of others against the ferociousness of the ocean waters. She will accept that career and it is totally fine that she is leaving her other career. So her job, she's actually off of work today. So she works uh, every other day, which is pretty interesting. So she doesn't work today, and apparently she needs athletic and charisma. So she's gonna have to uh, start working on that really fast. But I do want to go explore that cave first. Since she actually has a job that will give her steady revenue, we can focus on raising up some of those other skills, like her athletic and charisma. But I made it a plan, and I promised that we were gonna go explore that cave. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go work on that other stuff, if there's nothing interesting down in the caves. All right, you can run a little bit faster, chickadee. Heading over to the dive lot as quickly as we can. Come on, gotta get there, gotta get there. There we go. All right, she's gonna go scuba diving. We're gonna go see help others. Hold on, what was that on the current? Yeah, yeah, an athletic and charisma. All right, so she's gotta work on all of that, which means she's gonna she's gonna need some friends, so maybe she should make friends with that uh, mermaid that we saw if we ever freaking find her again, you know? Let's just pick up a little bit of this stuff around because we can still sell it for extra money. Any type of extra money we get, I'm all game for it. And then after that, we're not gonna collect too much because our main goal here is to go in this cave. So we're gonna go explore this cave once she's done. All right, come on, collect a little bit faster, chickadee. There's always so much stuff to like find down here, which is a plus, so, I mean, diving is definitely a good skill to have from the first, 
first few skills that she learned, not only will it be essential to us finding all of our uh, little creatures that we need, it's just fun. It's fun to do. It's a different set of things. I thought I heard splashing. Is somebody else in here? There is another person there. Like, we should start introducing ourselves to some of these uh, other divers. Because we're going to need to know them. I don't think we caught this type of fish before. I would say go catch it, but she's already heading towards the cave and we're just going to let her go. Cross your fingers that she doesn't die. Last time we were down here, I believe there was a tentacle monster, like, just uh, peeky peeking out of this cave. So I'm, I'm hoping that all goes well when she goes in there and uh, we don't get the message what? Oh, okay. I think she reset. Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. Let me actually... Um, do I have it on? I don't think I do. Alright, hold on. I think I need to... Give me one sec, guys. I have to go, like, click and reset the caves. This happens sometimes for me, and I think I fix it by just uh, clicking them and replacing them. So give me one moment. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I went into every single dive lot and reset the caves. I think that all I had to do was, like, click them and, like, replace them back in the same spot and that hopefully that would work. But because of the fact that she just went diving and that little glitch happened, we can't actually go explore a cave, which makes me sad. So since that's not an option, we're going to make her change back into her everyday outfit here because she's looking weird walking around in this scuba diving gear. And then we're just going to go, I don't know, let's go to the gym or something since, since she needs athletic skill and stuff now and she can't go diving anymore for at least for two hours. But that's all right. That was a glitch. I forgot about that little bug. It did happen to me, I think, when I first had this uh, had this installed and I wanted to uh, play in the dive lots. The first few that I explored, I had that glitch and I believe I had to look it up and that was the way I fixed it was just clicking them and resetting them. Hopefully... That works. If it doesn't, I'll have to do some more investigation. But we have other stuff that she can definitely be doing in order to improve her luck. Wait, was that a collectible that we passed? They were collectibles. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Collect this stuff because you need to collect as much as you can. Look, there's a parrot. Befriend the yellow naked Amazon. Like, yeah, do it. Do all of this. Look, guys, she's finding more stuff. There are graves here. Is this like a graveyard? Interesting. She found a tiny space rock. And another tiny space rock. And now she's gonna find herself a birdie bird. Blarbin. Hello there, birdie birdie. Blarbin. Look at it likes me. Now she has a little pet friend. Uh, it's uncommon among other species. Nice. So now we have a little pet friend uh, just running around the neighborhood. We're going to have to analyze these space rocks and figure out which one they are. She's getting a bit hungry, actually. So maybe we'll go eat something before we, uh, before we go to the gym. But I don't think there's any place around to go eat anything. We can go. Let's, let's go to the festival. You know what? She can meet some people, too. She's going to need friends in order to increase her charisma skill, which apparently is necessary to be a lifeguard. So she can't be antisocial like me in real life. She actually has to go and make friends because friendship is key. All right, let's go to the, the um, festival up here. Hurry up. Come on, let's get there. All right, so she made it to the festival. And there's plenty of stuff to eat. Let's go buy some food and let's introduce ourselves to some people. Make some acquaintances. She's loving this park. She's an outdoorsy person, so she's liking it a lot. Let's go and grab ourselves some grub. Let's see what they got for sale. Chili fries, french fries, hamburger hot dog, hot wings. Let's get some nachos. I like nachos. She's going to get nachos. She's going to eat her nachos. Then we're going to introduce ourselves to some people. We'll try to explore our cave tomorrow after work. What is with this music? What's going on here with this music? Can I switch the music while I'm... I cannot. One more second, guys. Hold on. This is this this music will drive me insane because it does not fit. So we are going to change it to. Oh wait, let's just do Island Life. It sounds appropriate. There we go. Better. There we go. 
That music sounds a lot better for this atmosphere. That weird classical music is just strange. Is this the guy who was diving? He's still in his diving outfit, but whatever. If you were gonna bring free food, mister, I would have just waited. Since he likes diving, maybe maybe we should go introduce ourselves to him, because I don't see anybody else around in the park right now. There were some other people here, but oh, they're all roller skating over there, but I don't feel like roller skating, so let's oh, she's going to roller skate. Let's let's give him a friendly introduction. Seeing as he's <laughs> Don't sneeze on him. I mean you already grossed out the other guy you met by like throwing up on his shoes and now you're sneezing on the back of this guy's head? You have no manners, girl. Oh, she's sick. I never noticed that she's a uh, germy, so she's pretty sick, but that's okay. We're going to introduce ourselves to this guy. Apparently, they have a thing for each other. Or at least they think that each other is hot. He's probably weird looking. I normally don't agree with any sims that are default in the game until I have actually put my own touch on them and, you know, fix them up some. But she can talk to him for a little bit. She needed a little bit of social interaction and he seems like a person who likes to dive and all that other good stuff like that. So let's talk to him for a little bit. We can talk about beach safety. I mean, pretty much you just spam all these interactions and you get a bunch of stuff. Boast about being a lifeguard, huh? You haven't even worked one day on the job. We're just gonna do those interactions and after that, I think I'll be satisfied. Then we're gonna go to the gym. And let's see if we can get our athletic skill up a little bit more, seeing as that's something that we need to do now. We'll speed up these interactions. Talking a little faster, come on. She also has to go to the bathroom, you know, this is gonna be a problem in a little while. And there's the bathroom with it, but we're actually gonna try to risk it and go to the gym before you go to the bathroom. There's a bathroom at the gym. You should be fine. Let's make it, and she made it, like I knew she would. And then let's go to the bathroom before we work out. And she's getting kind of tired. When do we work tomorrow? Just out of curiosity. She works at 10 a.m. So she doesn't have to get up super early in the morning, but she does have to get up. So we'll make her work out until she's fatigued. And she gained another athletic point. So we're, we're helping out our career here. I think, see, we get job experience just by working on athletic skill, apparently. Cool. So she's going to start working on the charisma skill soon, too. And she's tired, so we'll let her shower, and then she's gonna head home and go to bed. Where's my house? My house is right by the gym. Nice. Uh, let's go downstairs and sleep. Once she's done. She's showering. We're gonna give her privacy. Keep the camera back down. Nobody wants to see all that. She, I mean, she needs her privacy, guys. This, we may be viewing everything about her life, but... She's still a lady. It's three in the morning. Holy cow. You need to go home and like go to sleep. She's gonna be so tired for her first day at work. Though I can't talk. I mean, I st probably stay up till way longer than I need to when I'm also need to go to work the next day, but that's a whole nother story. So let's go to sleep. We're gonna sleep through the night and uh, I'll be back guys. Give me one sec. Okay guys, it's the next morning. She's waking up. She didn't actually get much sleep. I think we kept her out just a little bit later than we should have yesterday working out. And she should have probably gone to bed way earlier than she did. But she has to work here in about two hours. And she's gonna need to eat because I don't think with these type of careers that she actually gets a break to go eat like normal. Her burnt mac and cheese, she's gonna chow down on some of that before she heads to work and then she's probably gonna be tired afterwards because we kind of messed her up a little bit there making her stay out at the gym until 3 a.m. Where exactly do I go? Where, where do I go to go to work? Does it matter where I go? I really don't know if it matters where I go to work but it says she's supposed to be at work in an hour. So, what does that mean? Do I get, like, phone calls? Do I just pick a beach and go to it? Can I go here? I, I am a confused. 
I told you guys that I have never done this before. I've never done a lifeguard career, so I don't exactly know what it takes. Do I just, like, search the map view for, like, problems or stuff happening on the map? I'm on the clock. Oh, okay. So she gets she gets a job, so that's how it works. So as soon as as soon as something comes up, she gets a job. Look at that. She's got the 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 uh, really obnoxiously ridiculous suntan lotion across her face. She's looking cool with her whistle. She's making it to work. She's getting there. Hopefully she'll have some people to save because that is the criteria that we need in order to unlock this island that we need to get. She passed that guy who she likes. This one dude, Harley Greenwood. Alright, so she's on the job, and what exactly does she do? I don't know, but I think it may be a good idea to buy her something to do. Can I just, like, start taking pictures of stuff? Like, what does she do exactly? She's, uh, standing in the bushes like a creeper is exactly what she's doing. You just stand in the bushes like a really weird... Ooh, look, what's this? Can we pick this up? Like, do you just run around? Like, can we, uh, can we do stuff? Or do you just walk around and, like, look at stuff like that? I'm not exactly sure this is a requirement for her to just keep doing this. Running in the bushes and, uh, looking at stuff. But I kind of don't want to mess her up here. But there's nobody here, so can I just, like, do stuff that's... I mean, you're here to lifeguard. It's just, uh... There ain't nobody here right now. Now there are people arriving. So I don't know, like, can I click this place again and make her continue to do her lifeguard and stuff? Or does that just happen naturally? Let's see. Yeah, there's no interactions. I guess I just have to be here on this lot. She found an extraordinary, unusual piece of a map in a bottle. Interesting. She could be swimming and gaining herself some, uh, experience. So she found a map in a bottle. Interesting. She's also extremely tired because we kept her out really late at work. And she has to work today. This lady smells really bad. Look at those green fumes coming off of her. She wants to become a partner at several businesses. I don't think you got the doski for that, honey. Can you, like, nap or something? I mean, it's not a good idea to nap on the job. Hold on, let me give it just a pause for a little bit. Can, oh, survey? Is that how you do the thing where you're looking out for people? I know, dude, right? She walking around here funky? I feel the same way about that guy. Like, he, ugh. Girl, go take a shower, please. Please, what? take a shower. I mean, if nobody's gonna go swimming, I suppose that you could just chill like this guy and, like, take a nap. Though this dude seems to be walking on water, like Jesus over here. It's just a- is this like the old people beach? Like, is everybody here old? I mean, I'm not complaining, and I mean, it's not like older people can't go to the beach, but like, every person visiting this beach right now is like, elderly. Except for this dude. What's his name? Rajan Patel. Rajan Patel. Hello, Rajan. Oh my god, look at his eyes! Okay, wait, so somebody's drowning, so what do I do? What do I do? Do I click hit- do I click the bubble? Oh, yeah, okay, so I click the bubble, and then I go rescue? Go rescue! Because this fool just ran in the water and started drowning. Go rescue! Look, she still wears her bag. Alright, hold on, we're gonna correct the situation. We're gonna go remove this bag really quick. I don't know if it'll remove it from her everyday outfit, but, uh... Uh, it looks weird with her running around with this, this uh, satchel on her back. So we're going to go take this off really quickly and I'll be right back. What? Okay, well, there's that. Apparently I can't take the bag off because of uh, reasons. But it also... There he goes. Um, she changed back. I, I, I can't take it off because it's almost like this is like a part of her everyday outfit or something. It's strange. Maybe it is a career outfit and I'm looking at the wrong thing. But, uh, I'll go look at it again in a second. But for now, she's gonna be swimming with her little satchel on. She's coming to rescue him. So does this count as pulling people out of the water? I get $103?
And you're not gonna actually pull them out of the water. You're just gonna leave them there floating. All right. What? Really? Okay, well, we're gonna go rescue this guy. She walks so slow. Like, seriously, they just, like, wading in the water. Go save him, my chickadee. Onwards, Lucas, to save this guy from drowning. Go, go, go get him. What are you doing? What's taking you so long? Go save him. This lady's gonna run him over with the jet ski. Go get him. She's gonna run him over. Oh, she went the opposite direction. Let's go save him. She's getting athletic skill the more she does this, so I'm all game for it. Excuse me, sir. You look to be drowning. There you go, my good friend. Give me money for saving your life. I am an awesome lifeguard. Yay, level three in athletic skill. Eh, what the hey hey? Really, peeps? All right, well, I guess we're gonna save 50 sims or however many sims it is relatively quickly, I suppose, if like three or four people start drowning every time we work. I mean, that works for me. This guy's just chilling. All right, go save her. Come on. Then I'll let you go home and go to sleep, I promise. I'll give you a break once you go home. What are you doing? Give him CPR. That fool ain't dying. Go save the other girl. He, you only need to give CPR to people who, like, aren't breathing. This dude's fine. Oh, wait. Apparently he's not fine. Well, let's get her out of the water, and then we'll give him CPR. But she moves so slow, he might suffocate before we get to him. Let's get her out of the water. Okie dokie, and then... I don't have to give her CPR, do I? She's fine, right? She's cool? Yeah, alright, let's go give this dude CPR. Before he dies over here. He's like unconscious. Let's go give him CPR. Breathe! You were just fine. I literally just saw you walking out of the ocean, but breathe, my fool. My fool, breathe. That's not his mouth, that's his chin. But go ahead. CPR. Chest compressions. Activate. Breathe. 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 And he's back awake, and nobody's drowning? Thanks for the assistance. You are very welcome, sir. Is there a bathroom? Oh my god, everybody has a crush on her. Apparently she's a very likable person. Can I use the bathroom? You can make out in the in the stall? Is that like the boys' bathroom? She needs to be so if nobody drown for like five minutes. Do like her and just splash in the water. Uh, apparently I was clicking the right bathroom. I don't know. As long as she gets to go pee, I don't really care. Apparently this guy has a crush on her and a lot of other people do too, so... Watch this guy start drowning. Like, it's like when she's on the clock, if you walk in the water, you start to drown immediately. I'm not complaining because I'm only doing this until we get our career. Yep! There it goes. It's like if you see people swimming, imagine them drowning as soon as it happens. She's gonna drown though. If I can't let her get to sleep. She's like super duper tired. She's off work in like five minutes though, so. Oh look, she got a, she got a promotion. Congratulations, Lucas has been conferred with a new title of mouth breather by the Island Paradise, Par Isla Paradiso, Island Paradise, Isla Paradiso Town Council in recognition for her valuable contribution to the workforce. Learning the basics of mouth to mouth is very important. You're getting the hang of it. Keep practicing no matter how creepy your friends think you're getting. Lucas makes $340 a week and she works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, yeah, that's an old dude hidden on me. Cool, am I off work now? She is, so we're immediately gonna go home because uh, girlfriend is about to pass out. She's so tired. I don't think we're, I think we're gonna get rid of this go jogging thing and we're, oops. I meant to click the uh, learn charisma skill. He needs CPR too, all right. Apparently he's dying and she's gonna give him CPR. 
Cool, you're alive. At least we're making some money from this, right? And I think she's off every other day, so, uh... It's cool, old dude. You don't have to thank me. I'm going home and going to sleep, so... She's so tired. We're not gonna make her do anything else today. We're just gonna go to sleep. Weird moment there. My game actually stalled up for a really long time there, but... We're not gonna make her do anything else today. We're gonna let her go to sleep. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow. So, let's go downstairs. Let's go to bed. She's off work tomorrow. So, she's gonna sleep through the night. Hopefully my game isn't gonna hang up. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, in the middle of the night, like, literally out of nowhere, this burglar just, like, spawned into my house. So, I'm not even kidding. It just sort of, like, spawned. Like, the music didn't start or anything. And she's stealing my toilet! I need that! What are you doing, lady? She's still in my toilet. Can I like fight her? Yeah, like, we can. Let's fight her. She's stealing all of my bathroom stuff. Let's fight her. Like, yeah, let's go fight her. I think she's brave, right? Go fight her. She's coming for your bed. She's coming for your bed. Get her. Get her. Oh man, she's got her in a headlock. I don't think we're gonna win this. But she's fighting for her life. And she kicked our butts. She kicked our butts. But the police is here. And what do you have to say for yourself, Popo? You're, you're not going to come and save me, are you? Are you going to say she got away even though she's going to run, like, directly past you, like, right now? Literally, she's going to, like, run straight past you? But let me guess. It looks like the burglar got away. She stole my sink in my bathtub, you big douche canoe. Like, I... <laughs> What do you want me to say to that? Unfortunately, it looks like the burglar was able to get away. We'll get him next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget you, buddy. Get out of my house. I gotta buy another toilet now. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys. It is the next morning after our burglary incident. And she's waking up super hungry. So we are gonna make her jump in the shower and go eat some of her burnt macaroni and cheese. At least the robber didn't steal that from us. Uh, amateur Olympics. Never mind, it disappeared. And today, seeing as she is off of work, what I think we're gonna do, because she works every other day and today is one of the days she's off, we're gonna go see if our fixed for the cave actually worked. And if it worked, then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go dive in that cave because I wanna see what's in there. And then I think we're gonna... See if we can- uh-oh. Bills. Our $40 bills. That's okay, though. She's in the shower. She's Nikki in the tub. So we're gonna give her some privacy. And we're gonna speed her on along. She's gonna go upstairs. Eat her burnt mac and cheese. Uh, and it's bad. So never mind. She's going to- wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You can't do that just yet. You actually have to have food. So let's serve... I don't know. Make make some peanut butter and jelly. Sounds good. You'll live off sandwiches for a little while. She's gonna cook and eat. Then we are going to put away leftovers, clean out the bad food, because that annoys me when there's stinky stuff in the refrigerator. And then we are going to go over here in the pouring rain. Hopefully have uh, some better luck with the dive lot now that I've done a little bit of editing. I'm hoping that that fix, uh, fixes everything. If it didn't, then I will look into it. But I think that that should have fixed the whole issue that we were having with her resetting when she was trying to go into the cave. So let's try this again. And she's diving. And what is probably unsafe conditions, seeing as, uh, you know, it's storming outside. Let's catch a couple fish. We'll do that every time we come down. And then let's go. Where did the cave go? Where did the cave go? I really don't know where it went. Here it is. And it's got those tentacles sticking out of it, so someone tell- Oh, wait, look, we, we never caught this thing before. Let's catch- let's catch that thing. 
let's catch that thing and then those tentacles are probably gonna murder our face but we're gonna go in there anyway because we were planning to do that from the start and if we're lucky we won't die if we're not lucky we will die but we just got robbed in the middle of the night so we might be death it may in fact actually be death but uh what you gonna do about it right is this a fish i can catch it's so tiny it's like the tiniest fish on the planet Well, that's okay. She's gonna catch whatever this worm-looking thing is. An eel, I'm assuming. Let's grab it. And it was eight, we're $845. Holy smowza. Wow, that's amazing. I'm really happy that I made you go collect that because, dudes, you could sell that and make a pretty penny. We get the money back that we had to spend on our sink and our freaking toilet that the the robber decided to take it. Yes, it looks like that did, in fact, fix the cave. So all I did when I fixed this was that I had to go in and uh, unlock the locks to be edited and then just click the cave and click it back down and it, it repairs everything. I don't know what that glitch is all about, but it's happened in this world to me pretty much every time I've loaded it up. So that is how you fix that if you've ever had that issue. I, I didn't remember if it still worked and apparently it does. So all you have to do is click the, the caves, pick them up, put them right back down in the same place that they're in and they function. So we're gonna fast forward and hope. Oh, she found an air pocket in the cave. Good, she's not drowning. That's good to know. Very good to know. Let's speed it along. Speed it along. Uh, Lucas now has a much deeper appreciation for the wide variety of ocean life that is covering in suckers. Does that mean she got attacked by the big octopus thing? Because that'd be funny. I just don't want her to die. Which I'm assuming is an option here. Lucas Lunhair may have found another exit, but she doesn't have enough skills or no for sure. Try increasing your diving skill first, then explore this cave again. Okay, so it could potentially have given us a thing. While exploring the cave, Lucas Lunhair found a second exit. Lucas Lunhair also found a the following a conch shell. Alright, so she needs to increase her diving skill, doing like what we're doing now, which is just continuing to dive and find stuff so let's go catch more fish since we still got two hours left of our breathing capability Ooh, look at the clownfish let's catch this guy um what about over here there's a seashell over here let's just keep collecting this go round, and then we'll surface and i think we might work on our charisma skill before we hit the hay Okay, she's back up on the surface. We are gonna take our little patooties on home. My game is lagging just a bit here, and that is troubling me. It keeps stalling, so I think, I think, I think, I think, once she goes home, There we go. There was an unroutable sim that was lagging up my game that was worrying me for a second, but I'm pretty sure that the NRA has just fixed my problem. This little freaking dog was, I think, lagging up my game there. When sims get stuck routing, it causes crap like this to happen, and it lags up your game, and it becomes unbearably painful to, to deal with. Let's see. If another sim is stuck, I'm going to click on them and see where they are to see if maybe they got stuck in their house. And there we go. It was another sim that was stuck, and it's in this house. I think I might need to do what my first mind told me to do, which is delete every single house houseboat besides my own, because I think they cause a lot of issues. And I think that's what's going on right now. So, she's also lagging out and having some weird issues right now. So while she stands there and complain in her bathing Sarah, suit, weeby. all right, uh. we get it, Lucas. So guys, with these weird little issues that are popping up and our weird, uh, strange little, uh, hangups that are going on with the game, I think I'm gonna cut this episode here. Uh, I'll be back pretty soon with another episode. I am probably gonna be posting one again next week because I'm having fun playing this challenge. When I come back, it should be time for another day at work as a lifeguard. Hopefully we can continue to save people so that we can unlock our first island as a lifeguard and then move back on to doing our career as a collector. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or a don't. That is up to you. But I do hope you'll join me next time for my next Adventure Sim Challenge video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.